Michelle is in the Bob Mills Weather Center. Hannah, a little chance of some winter precip in parts of the state this morning. Uh, yeah, well, technically the first day of spring is right around the corner. You need that storm. I do need yeah, some coffee. Need it's been rough. <laughs> Go refuel, and I'll, I'll take things from here. Uh, currently, this is what we're looking at, though. This cold front moved across the state. Our temperatures are very chilly behind it. Out ahead of it, we have freeze watches and warnings, and we even have some winter precip in the panhandle of Texas. That's moving towards us this morning. Maybe seeing a little bit um, from the Hollis area over to Altus. But if you zoom in a little bit closer, I'm thinking that that is not actually happening right here at least for now. It still is, of course, moving towards us. We could still see some winter precip in the state before it's all said and done. So this morning, we're looking at a 60% chance from Clinton down to Hobart, down to Altus, of seeing a winter mix. So most likely that would be some freezing rain and then changing over to just rain after that. And then rain for this green area for this morning. So looking at future next gen, uh, the, the window for seeing freezing precip is fairly small. So it's going to be once the precip enters until about 8 o'clock because after that we'll start to see temperatures warming up. Um, by 11 a.m. we're seeing more scattered showers from Taloga down through Clinton over to Hobart, Altus, Lawton all seeing that rain and it really kind of weakens as it makes its way eastward. So there's only about a 10% chance of seeing rain in Oklahoma City. Down this afternoon, we're still seeing rain along the Red River from Ardmore over to Durant. And then after that, it continues to move out into Texas. So this morning, we are at a chilly 33 degrees. Our SSM health cam showing um, we got partly cloudy to mostly clear skies this morning on our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network. Our wind chills are in the 20s. It is cold. I would say bundle up your kiddos but they're all on spring break unfortunately it's not feeling at all like spring but at least you don't have to go to the bus stop there's your temperatures that freezing line kind of cutting the state in half there mainly western oklahoma seeing those freezing temperatures and also they're the ones who are going to see the rain later this morning as well so that could be a sticky situation Right now, winds generally from the east, they're fairly light, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But today, we're going to see a wind shift. You already see it shifting in the western portion of the state and also the panhandle. And that's going to warm us up here over the next few days, seeing those winds from the south. These are wind chills. It's feeling like the teens and 20s all across west Oklahoma and through central Oklahoma. You've got 20s and 30s. It is chilly. And even though the winds are light, they're enough to clock in that wind chill this morning. So by this afternoon, it is going to be warmer than we were yesterday by about 10 degrees, 53 our high temperature this afternoon, 48 in Clinton. I think we stay in the 40s down in southwest Oklahoma, a little bit of extra cloud cover and that precip keeps a little cap on our temperatures. But where the winds shift earliest, we see temperatures get into the 60s. We have 50s in northwest Oklahoma as well, but generally kind of seeing low to mid 50s throughout the state for the day today. Your chances for rain, as I mentioned earlier, mainly going to stay in southwest Oklahoma and down along the Red River, uh, but still a 10% chance of seeing a light shower through the day today in Oklahoma City. Lows tonight getting back into the 30s, not quite as chilly as this morning. We see some people hang on to the 40s and then tomorrow afternoon, it's finally starting to feel a little bit better. Some people make it back into the 70s. I think through central Oklahoma, you get the 60s, 65 in Oklahoma City up to Stillwater, Clinton, uh, Hobart, Law and Altus all looking at the 70s, so western Oklahoma looks a little bit better. Thursday afternoon, we only get to enjoy the warmer temperatures for a day because the cold front comes crashing in, and we see the chance for more rain and storms for the day on Thursday. So a lot of people are going to get some really good rain with this. Unfortunately, I think West Oklahoma is one that misses out and these could be strong to severe with quarter sized hail, 65 mile per hour winds and a low tornado threat. But looking at our future rainfall, it looks like a lot of people get some good moisture. So that's the good news with this system. Of course, we'll be keeping an eye on it for the severe threat. After that, we have another long chilly stretch where we're back in the 40s with lows in the 20s. Ah, guys, I'm ready for the warmer temperatures too. Don't, don't shoot the messenger. Okay, storm back <laughs> to you. All right.